Teacher, who did the Pearl Harbor bombing? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, the whole class, you can feel the eyes of the whole class on her. But yeah, it was 100% her, there was no one else involved at all. Everyone focused on if Alexander was gay, while the question, is he Greek or not, is literally drowning. Oh, but... Yeah, this is the one that no one is asking. Apparently the same thing happened to Genghis Khan. No one can find his body either. This is all a little sus. How do we know these two aren't living it up on some beach in the Caribbean still? Zeus on his way to impregnate a random girl. Who's next? This is why Zeus fell off, you think? He just can't keep up with all that child support. Hades, when everyone thinks he's evil, but he's actually the only one that does his job and doesn't cheat on his wife. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, if you weren't walking around just impregnating random people, then you were definitely not good. When you were writing a letter to Nono Germany and forgot to add Hail Hilter, the end. This is how you get a visit from the Gestapo. Industrial Revolution starts. White peppered moths. Guess I'll oof then. While my time has come, being said by all the black peppered moths. This is referring to industrial melanism, which has affected arthropods, in which dark pigmentation has evolved in an environment affected by industrial pollution. Them before versus them after. I feel like I've only ever seen them look like this. Are you saying that they used to be different? The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the moths. The youngest soldier during WW1 was 12. The youngest American soldier during WW1 was 12. I'm gonna assume either like the Ottomans or Russia, maybe even Germany sent an eight-year-old out there. Oh, I was right, but it was actually a Serb. He became a soldier at the age of eight, yet he survived till 1993. Let's go. This kid was probably the greatest soldier of them all. You're Poland in 1939, and you see all those Soviets coming to help. Yes, they are coming to help Poland against the no-no Germans. I mean, they definitely aren't planning to take half your land, I don't think. Take plane in Morocco, 1961. Fly it over Lisbon, drop leaflets calling for free elections. Return to Morocco, apologize to the passengers, and give roses to the ladies. Vanish and refuse to elaborate further. This guy was a Portuguese revolutionary against the dictatorship in the country at the time. Yeah, he was doing this back before it was cool. I need someone to save us from the Aztecs. Maybe send me an angel. The nicest angel you have. Demonic screaming coming from the Spanish Empire. There are a lot of natives nearby that didn't like the Aztecs. I'm not sure if they prefer the Spanish Empire though. Ottoman Sultan gets oofed. His sons right here in a Mexican standoff. Uh, to be fair, doesn't like every monarchy end up doing this at some point though? It's the original battle royale. Imagine being a samurai that trained your entire life and in the first battle you ever fought, your enemy just deleted you with this sh And that is exactly why the samurai very quickly thought, well maybe this whole sword thing isn't all what it's cracked up to be. Of course, there's a whole lot of Hollywood movies that really don't want you to know this. Midas, when he accidentally touches something and turns it into gold. Why do I fix everything I touch? Too bad Midas was gonna starve due to turning all his food and water into gold. Wait, that reminds me of this book I was forced to read in elementary school about this kid that turned everything into chocolate. The chocolate touch and his name was John Midas. Thought about this book literally for my entire life. I had no idea it was based off of Greek mythology. This kid I think is saved at the very end. Man, I wish they would have went with the original ending. <laughs> dies to chocolate overload. Damn, that is crazy. I really do think about this book all the time, though. The USA supporting the Mujahideen to stop communist influence. Islamic countries supporting the Mujahideen to defend Muslims from the Soviet oppression. While China supporting them in spite of the Soviet Union. That whole, like, soviet sino split thing is really still confusing to me. You really would think two communist countries would get along, but I guess not. He steals your heart. ba dun 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 ba dun 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 He's an Aztec. <laughs> Well, like we saw earlier, luckily a Spanish conquistador is going to come and probably steal your heart, but that will be in a romantic way to have your children be mestizo. But you also might get oof with smallpox. Changes Noah Webster made to American English. Drops U from color. Changes center to ER with the center. Plow, plow. What the hell is that? I've never seen that in my life. Other changes he wanted to make. Believed to, ew. Machine to machine. Women to women. Women. Whammon. That's not a bad one. Give. I think this ended up catching on through text message language. Soup. I'm a brave boy. Researching at medieval medical treatments. Not a brave enough boy for this, though. Oh, yeah, they were definitely doing some funky things. Hilter, after receiving a letter saying that his rejection from art school was an accident, and he can join them instead. Wait a second. Oh, hold everything. Yep. Gotta get into the car, and yeah, going back home to Austria, I think. We can, <laughs> we can pack it up, boys. This is all they had to do. Why didn't Stalin just say, hey, Buddy, you can go into- wait, maybe I shouldn't say buddy. Hey, you want to come to art school in Russia? Be our guest. Could have ended that whole ordeal overnight. Edison, how will I ever fund my dream of illuminating all of Manhattan? JP Morgan, mama went to the bank. I'd watch that anime. Oh no, what is this? Today, Belgium is a country known for its chocolate and famous comic books, but it holds a terrible secret. 
Oh no. It all starts with Leopold II uh, when he attended the Berlin Conference and he acquired the Congo as his personal property. Uh, d uh, please don't go into detail in like an anime song and yep, I guess you, I guess you are, where people were forced to harvest rubber. If they failed to reach their quotas, don't, can we... I knew that was gonna go here, but all right. Germany getting annihilated on every front they're fighting on. Italy, who can now rub it in Germany's face after all these years. Then there's Finland, who's starting to think that maybe these ally guys are gonna win instead. All the while, Japan realizing that they're next. Dios mio, wait, Romania, who already switched sides months ago. What a great investment. Third century sculptures reading news for the 20th time that the Roman emperor they've just started sculpting is already oofed. You gotta be kidding me? That imperial turnover rate was nuts. The Romans, after losing more than 100,000 men in just three years during the Second Punic War. All right, who's not dead? <laughs> Sound off. I think it's time to do the old uh, Serbian WW1 strategies. Send in the eight-year-olds. Ancient Greece, Rome, Afghanistan, and old Japan all agreeing that it's not gay if you're on top and they're... Uh, yeah. This meme used to only stick around ancient Greece. I think it's starting to expand to other places now, though. Wasn't the Vikings doing something in that area somewhat too? Chinese generals on their way to lose half a million men to take down a tyrannical emperor just to install another tyrannical emperor again. And the cycle will only repeat. Gotta love that Chinese history. No, we won the space race. We put a man on the moon. While the Soviets put the first satellite in space, first animal in space, first man in space, first woman in space, first object on the moon, all with fewer casualties than you. Why are we still talking about this? Don't get it. But real quick, no casualties you say? Most WW1 troops. I have the reliable M1903 Springfield. I got it from my expedition in Mexico. I have the new M17, M, whatever. Russian WW1 troops. Do you have a rifle? I don't even have boots, bro. Tends to be Russia's problem, but once they get going, they're unstoppable. 1900 psychologists, when they discover that torturing a baby monkey for months on end makes it depressed. Wow! This is a great leap forward for science. You serve yourself a glass of milk, but you live in Mexico in June of 1986. Oh boy. Is there some sort of like uh, food poisoning or something that happened? I guess basically uh, it was contaminated during that year with radioactive materials. That milk was sometimes used as formula for babies. Didn't know Mexican Chernobyl happened. Rome campaigning against the Western European tribes during late antiquity. You have been conquered! Guess this is why the whole Western side of Rome wasn't gonna do that well. Samurai win gun. Don't want to play with you anymore. Why was this so broken in English? It made it so much better though. You flee the battlefield after your cavalry is routed. Your infantry maintains discipline and wins the battle for you. Never underestimate the power of Prussian infantry. All right, campers, today's challenge is gonna be a hard one. And Total Drama Island looks like it's getting good. Maximilian von Habsburg, an Austrian prince who was installed as emperor of Mexico who refused to abdicate, was shot and executed by Mexican forces after the French occupation. Maximilian von Habsburg was a man who believed in improving the lives of Mexico's poor, made social reforms to try to end wealth inequality, who refused to abdicate because he believed it to be a disservice to his men. His last words are Viva Mexico. The only thing I'm wondering is, did this Habsburg also have that chin? Ah, oh, you can't tell. He started hiding it with the beard. You'd actually be surprised at how many little things go on between Austria and Mexico. Mexico is the only country that protested against the annexation of Austria during WW2. And now there's a little Mexico square in Vienna dedicated to them. Italy to the United Nations. You're being nice today, huh? If you act this pathetic in front of someone, they're bound to be a little nicer. Some of the many benefits to switching sides. This guy in 1847, maybe you should wash your hands before operating on patients. Doctors and nurses at that time. Yeah, where's the fun in that? Who cares if I leave a little bit of dirt inside of this guy's head? Still kind of crazy to me that this was like never thought of. It's like so automatic nowadays, but the concept of washing your hands just didn't really exist back then. Blow my mind. Hmm. France had the same lineage of representation that the Roman Empire once had. From kingdom to republic, consular dictatorship, and then the Empire. Wait a second. France? Actually the third Rome? They just did a lot quicker, I think. Japan attacks Pearl Harbor. Poland declares war on Japan. Japan rejects war. I may be evil, but I have standards. Nice to see someone actually having the decency. I'm going to take out the trash, says Nono Germany, as Italy watches Nono Germany take out Romania and Hungary. That's sad. At least they tried. Me realizing there's an alternative universe where Julius Caesar didn't get stabbed. <gasps> It's beautiful. I want to see that alt history. Virgil has unparalleled control over his language and an expansive cosmetic imagination that set the standard for poetry for thousands of years. That's why he's number two. Homer, let me show you why I'm number one. Heroes with personalities. Oh, it's that simple. How could you beat the Illidad and Odyssey? Ancient Rome gameplay. The crops are doing good this year. 
ancient Rome lore. It tends to be the case with so many things. I love how that meme is still going strong somehow. POV, you're about to experience Northern Irish cancel culture. It's only a matter of time before Twitter starts using this tactic. This temple in India, it is carved from one rock. Historians and scientists said about 400,000 tons of rock was scooped out under 18 years. This would be impossible to recreate today, but the secret ingredient, well, if, if that is the secret ingredient, I, yeah, okay. It's best if we don't try to recreate it. Dutch royalty in Ottawa, our child must be born on Dutch land. Let us borrow this land and we'll give it back to you as soon as our baby's born. Canada, sure thing, bro. That is a pretty great act of kindness from Canada, though. I guess the Dutch royalty had to flee when the Nona Germans invaded back in Europe. They went to Canada and Canada allowed them to have a piece of land or something. Specifically that part of the hospital. Teenagers going to the toilet nowadays. Do you need anything, Timmy? I'm good, Miss Miller. Crapping himself, but is too shy to go poop outside of his home. Teenagers going to the toilet 2,000 years ago. Can you pass me the communal sponge, please? I'll finish in a moment. Mmm, a little bit of leftovers from your best bro back in the day. That's how you knew you were best bros from back in the day. And big thanks to this month's supporters. Luxembourg lover. Alfonso M6. Arian after Drew's hours. Argentinian grandpa. Bransky w. Bring back Poland Mick ball. Blorf. I stole Drew's pet I dog. Love Marks. Majestic Unicorn. Max. Max Cooper. Why the pie? Why am I doing this? Drew's Arab sugar Crump daddy. Populous. Mimo Mike. Louise. Canadian Union. Adam Stiller. Alex Whitley is a mega fat, chat. Norwalk. Philip R.F. Robert Orton e. 5610. And Sussy Mulyadi.